Hey everyone, my name is Sherman, a CPA here at Life Accounting, where we help you save on taxes and increase your wealth. Look, today I'm going to help you do this by giving you the fastest ways to build wealth. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into the good stuff. Here are the sources of income of taxpayers by income level by the tax foundation. As you can see here on the left hand side, most people who make up to $200,000 per year in income rely mostly on wages for their income as indicated by this blue bar in the chart. So basically they are earning wages and investing into a retirement account to accumulate a nice nest egg by the time that they retire. And this is a great strategy to build wealth. In fact, 79% of millionaires reach millionaire status through this approach, according to the book, Everyday Millionaires. But while this is a classic strategy to build wealth, it is also one of the slowest ways to build wealth. And here's why. First of all, salaries and wages have the highest tax rates. It's taxed as ordinary income, in which tax rates can literally go as high as 40%. Secondly, it is also subject to many other types of taxes like state taxes, social security taxes, Medicare taxes, and so on. So basically, as you earn more and more money in wages or salaries, you will keep less and less of the total amount due to the escalating tax rates. On top of that, you are unable to take advantage of some of the tax write-offs that are available to business owners and real estate investors. And if you wanna learn more about that, then be sure to subscribe to this channel and watch my video on how to write off almost anything. But in short, business owners also earn ordinary income. But in addition to that, they can also take advantage of more tax deductions and credits to lower the amount of taxes that they actually pay. When you are a wage earner, one of your best bets to build wealth and save on taxes is going to be to invest into a retirement account to defer some of your income into tax-free accounts that can later compound into greater amounts over the years. Okay, so let's pull our chart back up here. You will notice that taxpayers who are earning over $200,000 in income earn a higher amount of their income from business and investment income. And the people who are earning over $1 million per year are primarily earning that amount through their investments alone and earn the least amount of wages on this chart, as you can see. Now, this is the complete opposite from the lowest income group here who rely primarily on wages. Now, you may be wondering, why is this important to note if you want to build wealth? Like, what is the point here? Well, one big thing to note here is that if you want to build your wealth quickly, you need to earn tax-friendly income. Investment income like capital gains, dividends, or rental income are taxed at lower tax rates than ordinary income. And as we saw in the chart, the highest income earners primarily strive to earn investment income and business income, which allows them to limit their tax exposure by as much as possible. But out of all of these options like wages, business income, investment income, and so on, which one of these builds wealth the fastest? Before I give you my answer, you must understand a very important concept here, and that is the relationship between risk and reward. If you don't remember anything else from this episode, remember this. In general, the higher the risk, the higher your returns will be. And the smaller your risk is, the lower your returns will be. A classic example of this right now would be investing in crypto. Crypto is very volatile. It swings up and it can slam down. I personally bought some crypto and it dropped like 30% the next month and then fully bounced back within a few months. So on that note, I definitely sold it once it bounced back. Uh, do I think it will go up in the future? Maybe. Do I think it will? Probably. But do I want my money there? No. Uh, way too risky for my appetite. So always know your risk appetite when it comes to investing and increasing your wealth. So with that said, here are the fastest ways to build wealth. Number one, build a business. The absolute 
fastest way to build wealth is going to be to build a business. That's how the Jeff Bezos, the Mark Zuckerbergs, and Elon Musk of the world built billions in wealth. But you don't have to have the sexiest and most innovative business in the world to build wealth. In fact, there are tons of proven business models already out there that you can replicate to start building wealth. I mean, we started our first business with literally $250 and it went on to make millions of dollars after about five years of hard work. And if you wanna learn how to build a six figure business with less than $250, check out our free training in the description below. The second fastest way to build wealth is to invest in real estate. Real estate is not as risky as running a successful business, but it can be risky due to the amount of debt and capital you need to invest in order to be successful at real estate. Now keep in mind here, when we say real estate investing, we're not talking about buying a personal residence. A personal residence does not generate positive cash flow for you every single month. Instead, you should consider investing into rental properties, an Airbnb rental, multifamily apartments, or other commercial properties. And while there's a number of reasons why you should invest in real estate, Here's the number one reason in my opinion, and that is the tax benefits of real estate are simply unmatched. It's one of the only investments where you can earn cash flow, but report a loss on your tax return due to depreciation. It's also one of the only investments where you can completely avoid capital gains taxes on your rental properties as long as you exchange it for another investment property within a certain period of time. And if you wanna learn more about this, then check out my video on the top six ways to pay less taxes legally. But not only does real estate have great tax benefits, it also appreciates in value, produces cash flow, is very tangible, meaning you can touch and feel uh, real estate. And number four, it is controllable. You fully control what happens with your investment. All right, let's move on to number three, investing in stocks. The third fastest way to build wealth is to invest in the stock market. Stocks are a little less risky than real estate, especially if you invest in a highly diversified portfolio over time. You can invest as much or as little as you want and take advantage of appreciation in dividends over time. For example, the S&P 500 has appreciated almost three times as much as the real estate market since the 08 recession. Investing in stocks is so powerful because your returns compound every single year. For example, if you started investing $1,000 per month with a 10% growth rate, you would have over $1.3 million in just 25 years. And the more you invest, the higher your returns will be. All right, so now let's look back at this chart. In order to build wealth quickly, you need to find a way to create some business income. And you don't have to quit your day job in order to do this. As you can see here, all income levels still earn some level of salaries and wages on average. Now, of course, if your business income reaches a certain level, then you may find it more advantageous to pursue that venture full time, but you should do so with caution. And as you start earning business income or just higher wages at your job, your next focus should be to increase your investment income by as much as possible. The wealthiest individuals live primarily off of their investment income. And you can do this for yourself by aggressively investing your money over time. The key word here is invest. Notice that I haven't mentioned saving money anywhere in this episode. Unless you're winning the lottery every year, saving money is not going to help you build wealth because as inflation rises, your money is going to be worth less and less every single year. Even if your money is in a high interest savings account that pays 2% per year, that dollar amount is still not keeping up with inflation which typically hovers around two to 3% per year on average. So make sure you invest, invest, and invest. Earn as much ordinary income as you possibly can, ideally through a business, and use your earnings to build passive income that you can then live off of. Hope this helps. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next episode.